Gibraltar means home, it means safety, it means warmth of people, it means love, all these things together. And what does it mean to perform here? It means everything to me. It's it's, it's such an amazing feeling, bringing it back home, uh, having this amazing opportunity to perform for Miss Gibraltar. First time I'm performing in Gibraltar, I'm very excited because it's my hometown. That's extra special. What are your like earlier memories of Gibraltar then? Um, first, I think it started with being very active. People here are very active, very healthy. They do sports, so I started with cycling here, up the rock, being out of breath, and having fish and chips occasionally, and <laughs> having um, juiced, uh, what is it called, a juice bar, my favorite milkshake place, and uh, starting to drink at 17. Great parties. <laughs> <laughs> and so musically, who inspired you? What style of music did you take to? I studied in Institute, Institute of Contemporary Music Performance uh, in London and I was doing production, songwriting there uh, and I started with ballad music, soul, kind of like inspired by Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, the big vocals, so I was really into it and I worked with uh, a big producer called Walter Afanasiev who did the first album of Mariah Carey, Butterfly, he did My Heart Will Go On. He did a lot of songs, so it was a big opportunity for me, so that's why I was a lot of times in LA traveling to work with him. But I always felt a little bit like, I love these songs, but I'm young, I wanna party, I wanna do dance music, this is what I wanna do. So after this period of time, I was working with producers in the UK and in Europe, now I'm working with Polish producers as well, and I'm doing electronic dance music, pop, some pop rock. So I'm in the dance field right now. That's how I feel right now. So this is where I'm at now. You're going to be performing at the Miss Gibraltar pageant. So what can you tell us about that without giving it too much away? Let's just say I'll be performing my latest single and some more of my dance music. Yeah. And, and your latest single, I mean, it's, it's a great big collaboration, isn't it? Yes, actually, it's my first collaboration with Sac Noel, who is like this Latin DJ. He did the song uh, Johnny, la gente está muy loca. The rest, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, not going <laughs> to continue <laughs> with the cursing. But, y yeah, it was an amazing opportunity. I wrote this song in love with the DJ. Actually, I got really inspired in a festival um, where the DJ was playing so well that he controlled my heartbeat <laughs> at this point. And I was like, I'm so inspired. I got to write it. So that evening I wrote the song, but the production was a little bit... Mm, I'm not great at production myself, so I needed help and my management approached Sac Noel and he was like, I love her vocals, give me three days. And in three days, he gave it like a Latin twist and I loved it. I was like, thank you so much. So I'm excited for this collaboration. Yeah, I hope it goes well. And what's next for you then? You're still releasing music, you've got a new uh, single coming out. Are we gonna see albums? Are we gonna see you come back to Gibraltar? I'm always in Gibraltar. I'm back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but yeah, I'm planning to release more singles, maybe at some point an album, I, that would be great. Uh, yeah, and I'm hoping to collaborate with more musicians because there's just so many great ones and they inspire me so much. So that's my plan, short plan.